Right, so today you are going to be setting your tappets for the first time. So start with the exhaust. I've already loosened the nuts. I've got it that this one is not rocking. Okay, so now you've watched me do the other three. Now feel there, see if you can get that feeler gauge through. Can it fit? So then you need to open the screw so that until you get a space in between the valve and the rocker so that that gauge can go through. You're gonna go in the space now? Yes. Okay, now you tighten that screw slowly until it starts to nip. You must move it in and out. Move it backwards and forward. You'll feel when it starts to get tight. No. It's starting to nip there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Alright, let me check it quickly. No, no, don't tighten it. We, I'm, I'm going to check it. Okay, you feel how it goes inside there? And you must get it to start to nip like it must grab that but when you're pulling it you must try pull it straight you can't pull it up in a up in an angle it must go straight in line with the top of the valve and you feel as it starts it goes easy and then you feel it starts to nip so it must be almost hard to pull out but it mustn't get stuck you feel if you go too much then it will get stuck and you must always make sure that it's staying in the valve Okay, you set it until you think that it's tight enough and then I'll check it. Yes. See, I can already see it and it's getting starting to get tight now. Yes. Okay, once you think it's right, then just put take a screwdriver away, then I'll check it. Okay. And you also can't press on it with the screwdriver now because now we're checking it. Okay, still a little bit loose. Bring the screwdriver. You start just tight, turn it a bit. Tiny bit, I'll tell you when. Slowly, 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 slowly. There, stop. See there now? It's stuck. See? I can't push it. Now take it back a tiny bit. There, there's an, wait, a little bit more. A little bit. Okay, see there. So you see now it's like almost nipping it almost leaves lines on that thing okay so that one there is now correct then we will now you'll hold the screwdriver there see i'm making sure because now you don't want this to turn at all okay so when you come with the spanner to lock it you will nip it and as you start to tighten it then you're going to take the force of the screwdriver you can see it's in the slot now you can see there's that free play so now as you're starting to tighten it, you need to put opposite force on it. So whichever way you're tightening the nut, you turn it the opposite way. And you don't turn it, just hold it there. So that this nut here does not turn at all. And then once you've tightened it, then you would come back and you would check again. That is still the same. Okay. Okay. Your turn. Wait, let me just unset it there so you can feel. Because everyone has got a lesson, you can take a lesson on the same valve and then you all understand how it's supposed to feel. Okay, so now use the feeler gauge there. Make sure your size is correct. Okay. Okay, you see it's going through now. Now you slowly tighten it until you feel it starts to get stiff and then leave it there and I'll come and I'll double check. This is the very, very basics of mechanics. And on these sort of cars, you'll still get these adjusters, but on the most modern cars, like I said, you will get either a hydraulic lifter or you'll get a shim. That basically the shim is a basically a thing that has the same sort of clearance but it's a set clearance.
Okay, when you're happy with it, you leave it. Okay, then I'll check it. Okay, it's close, it's close. Just tiny, nip it a tiny little bit more. Okay, right, right, right. See, now it's too tight. Back it off a tiny bit. Okay, right there. Can you see? It's like nipping, just feel it there, then you can feel how it's supposed to feel. Okay, you see, so that's how it's supposed to feel when you adjust it. Then you'll come with your screwdriver on top and your nut. Don't turn it at all now. Okay, turn your, hold it, yeah. Sometimes that nut will be tight, you'll have to hold it and then turn the nut down. Okay, then you'll just come in now with the spanner. And as you see now, I'm going to be turning this, the nut this way. So you're going to be turning, you're not going to be turning, you're just going to be holding it so it doesn't turn. Just for that first little second. Yeah, there you go. Okay. And that's it. That's how you set the valve clearance. So thanks so much for watching my video. Follow me for more tips and tricks and mechanical little lessons. Yeah, I can already see it because it's getting fun to get tight now. Yes. Okay, once you think it's right, then just put take a screwdriver away, then I'll check it. Okay, and you also can't press on it with the screwdriver now because now we're checking it. Okay, still a little bit loose. Bring the screwdriver. You start just turning it a little bit. Tiny bit, I'll tell you when. Slowly, 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 slowly. There, stop. See there, now it's stuck. See, I can't push it. Now take it back a tiny bit. There, there's an, wait, a little bit more. A little bit. Okay. Yeah. See there. So you see now it's like almost nipping, it almost leaves lines on that thing. Okay. So that one there is now correct. Then we will now you'll hold the screwdriver there. See I'm making sure because now you don't want this to turn at all. Okay, so when you come with the spanner to lock it. Okay, yes, first confirm that the measurement is correct. What is that measurement? 0.3. 0 0.3 millimeters, yes. Some cars it might be 0 0.25, might be 0 0.2, might be 0 0.15. But that's why there's all those different feeler gauges. Okay. So now you have to loosen it. Okay, until that feeler gauge can go through the space. You see? Okay, now you will slowly nip that nut until you feel it start to get tight because it must feel like that it's got a force pulling it inside. And if you tighten it too much, it will stop, it will get stuck. But keep on moving it. Okay, then once you think it's tight, then leave it, take off the screwdriver, then I'll double check it. Okay, are you happy with that? Let me have a feel. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's spot on. Right. So that's how it should feel on all the valves. All right, so when you're adjusting it now, now when you're putting in, you have to tighten this part, but it can't move. So it's got a locking nut here, you see? Now you're going to just make sure this doesn't move. Sometimes the nut will just turn easily. You can just turn it so it bottoms out, making sure it doesn't move. Okay, then you'll put the screwdriver on here. And then when you put it in the slot, you can see now we're going to turn the nut in the opposite direction. You see that tiny bit of movement in the screwdriver? Oh, yes, yes. You can see, so we need to put it against this side. So that as you're tightening it, you can put it tight. You're not putting, you're not moving it. It's just get us giving opposite force yes. so that you're turning it, but you're holding it there so it can't move. Okay, get the spanner. Now you'll, now you'll nip the spanner. You see? Yeah. More, more, more. Okay. Yeah. And that's it. Then that's how you set a valve. Okay, feel that feeling? Feel it? Yeah. Okay, now you can set the intake to 0 0.20. 0 0.20. 0 you must look in all those uh, feeler gauges and then you'll find the 0 0.20. Okay, so now I've shown you the process. What do you need? Screwdriver, sorry. Thank you. Yeah. Which one? Yeah, yeah. Okay, right. 
Yes, you see how loose it is now? Yes. Now you'll slowly tension it until you get that same feeling you got on the other valve where it starts to nip. You can see it's still easy. You'll feel as it gets tighter and tighter and tighter, then it will nip. So get it to the place where you think it is and then I'll double check it, then you can try your first hand at tightening it. Can you feel that? Can you feel when it starts to nip now like that? Yeah. Like it takes a bit of force to push it through. Yeah. See, so you have to always feel that force on the in between the feeler gauge. Yes, you see that's the right feeling. Okay, now get the screwdriver on top and you can tighten the nut like I showed you. And the spanner. Okay, don't let it turn. There we go. Okay, it's not too tight, it's only a locking nut. Then always check that it didn't loosen up. Yeah. If it got looser, then you'll undo it and you'll do it again. Okay. Yeah. See, yeah. it's easy like that. Okay, Sajula, you can do the next one. Uh, set, uh, yeah, the next one. Give give Sajula the feeler gauge. Yeah. Okay, you can do the second valve yeah. there. Just that one there. So I haven't even done anything there, so you're going to feel that for the first time. Okay, you can feel it's really going through. Now you're going to turn it until it gets that nip like I showed you on the other ones. Oh, you see, because the nut is still tight. Look, mm -hmm. see, see, the nut is what holds it in place. So if the nut is even a tiny bit tightened, then it's going to not be able to turn. Okay, you must keep on moving it until you feel it start to nip. You can see they're starting to nip. See, I can even see it starting to nip. Yes, you must hold it and get force on it so you can get it to move easily. Yeah, you see. Okay, what do you think? Okay, let me check it. Yes, that's exactly it. Okay, now tighten the nuts on top like I, like I showed you. Remember using the tiny bit of making sure the screwdriver in the groove and you don't turn it at all. Screwdriver is not properly in. Make it make sure it's straight. Now you're not going to let it turn. You're just going to turn it like in the opposite way as you tighten the nut. Okay. Now double check the valve. Make sure it hasn't loosened up. Still feel the same. Okay. Let me feel it. Yes. Okay. And that's it.